Welcome to Watch Symposium Live. All right. So 20 people watching right now, and uh, it's been a while since I've done a live show, but if there's ever a time to do it, today's the day. All right. So new teaser. We're going to discuss the teaser. I might drop the link if anybody wants to jump on. Now, uh, before we get into it, we'll let a few more people arrive. Maybe I'll drop the link and uh, see if anybody wants to jump on. But, um, you know, first impressions, all right? And we'll, we'll watch it, of course. Um, seemed kind of thin. Seemed kind of like uh, not a whole heck of a lot. And I was just talking with my friend Danny and... He was saying that, uh, you know, he heard last year in 2023 that it was going to be a big year, right? And so I think there were a lot of releases last year, even though I can't even remember what they were off the top of my head. But uh, I don't think we're going to have as big a release this year. That's my whole point. And I think that's kind of reflected in the teaser. And as far as teasers go, again, this wasn't that mind blowing to me. And in fact, there's only about one thing that really kind of made me go, wow, okay, cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. A few head scratchers there, but uh, yeah. All right. So before we get into talking about it, let me just read some of the comments here. Nicholas. How are you, man? All right. So Nicholas is in Japan. I believe he has a date just. I've got a viewer coming to get a date just next week. All right. He wants a blue five-digit or six-digit date just, although he's open for open to other dial uh, variations. All right. What does uh, Jean-Claude Beaver say? Oh, new new icon, I think, for you. Very nice. I like that. Very distinguished. Steel GMT Guinness hmm. or Coke, right? I mean, I was unsure if they were going to come out with the Coke this year. Now, of course, we know that there's a Coke on the way because uh, through patenting, right? And in fact, I'm going to release a video probably tonight or tomorrow kind of mentioning that. But uh, yeah, they've been working on um, color schemes and apparently thanks to a patent we know about that we know for sure uh, there's going to be a, well, a red and black bezeled Rolex. We know what it is, right? Bicolored, red and black. Come on. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket science to know that that's a GMT Master II, right? Coke. Um, but it's still GMT Guinness. Mm. Sounds beautiful. All right. Cream and black. Mm, I wonder. All right. Let's see. Who else do we have here? New GMT, I think so. <laughs> That's the big, there it is, right? You just saw a shot of it. Rolex really pushing for various gold versions. Yeah, it it, it looks like they're kind of getting a little fancy this year. Not like they haven't been going up market for, you know, about a decade now. But uh, yeah, yeah. All right, well. Let me just jump over to YouTube here, okay? And uh, here we have the teaser, and and I think the sound is is on and everything. I've given it a thumbs up. Maybe we'll drop a comment in there together. All right. Um, before we get into it, in fact, let me just give you guys something to look at besides the uh, <clears throat> black screen. Who do we have here? All right. I wonder what the wild card will be, right? Yep, me too. If there's a new GMT, I bet it's 41. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think they're going to change much. No, no. I, I, Nicholas, your guess is as valid as as mine, but I'm going to have to push back uh, because I think I think the the sizes are all set. It's like you know you got the as far as the steel sports watches go, the professional watches. You know you've got the 40 millimeter. What's 40 millimeter? Well, ah. Uh, the GMT, all right? You've got the 41 millimeter sub. You've got the 42 millimeter Explorer 2. You've got the 43 millimeter 
uh, sea dweller. You got the 44 millimeter. What's 44 millimeter? I think, is that the, uh, maybe the sky dweller or, or the, the, the deep sea. I know the deep sea challenge is 50 millimeters, but my whole point there is that there's a range of sizes. And so I think really, uh, the GMT is going to stay in the realm of 40 millimeters, but we never know. I mean, look, I try to apply logic to Rolex and you can get into trouble doing that because they don't always move in a logical way. I bring up the year that they released the Pepsi, the Tudor Pepsi and the steel Rolex Pepsi. That didn't make any sense. I mean, you would think that that they would think, okay, well, one is going to cut into the other. That didn't happen. They, they were both popular, but, uh, but I thought it defied logic. It also defies logic or, you know, this whole, uh, well, the logic of them going forward, right. Uh, with the 36 millimeter Explorer, right. So I don't know, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, your guess is as valid as mine. Um, all right, let's just go through a few of these. Midland Drum Lessons. He says, light blue guillochet dial and slim hands on the new 1908. Yes, I think that's a 1908. It's got to be, right? Because it's got that, that numeral. I'm getting ahead of myself, okay? Or they're going crazy and they're going to put a, a guillochet dial on an Explorer. <laughs> that's going to be it, right? No, probably not. Heavenly Mark says, very subdued teaser. I agree. Are we thinking sub on Oyster Flex or the GMT? It would make sense for it to be on the sub. But I see Sky in the background. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry. All right. And uh, let's see. Let's just a few, few more of these. All right. The Sprite was left field. It really was. And I, and I see what you did there. Left field. Get it? Get it? Double meaning there? Very clever. All right. Um, it was very surprising. That was pretty mind blowing. Um, that Sprite and people think they're going to keep it around for a year. I think that's crazy talk. It's going to be around for a decade plus. That's what I think. All right. Midlands drum lessons. He says the solid yellow gold on oyster. It looks like it has an open case back. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. And last one before we move on. I know you guys want to see this. Not like you already haven't, but um, what's the new TI model going to be? Sea Dweller or Explorer? TI. I don't know what that means, TI. But anyway, let's uh, minimize myself and uh, clear the screen. And uh, let me know if you can hear the, you know, the the music and stuff. All right. So let me just make this as big as possible. We'll we'll just go all the way through and just just. Watch it once. All right. Okay, so uh, there we go. Pretty short, and uh, yeah, I mean, very underwhelming. In fact, when I when I saw it, I thought, do I even want to make a live show about this? There's not much to say, but it only comes once a year. These teasers and and the releases. So I thought, why not? All right, so uh, Jean Claude Beaver says starts and ends with a a day date. Yes. Um, absolutely underwhelming. Yeah, I tend to agree with you, Mr. Satai. All right. What does uh, short life hack say? New GMT plus rose gold date just. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, what let's do is let's, let's just go slow through this and I'll, and I'll all right. So we have here a day date. Okay. So it looks like, uh, let me make it a little bit bigger here. Um, and I, and I'll read the, I'll read the comments, but, but 
you know, let me just uh, tell you what I see and then, and then I'll look and, and you can tell me if, if, if I'm correct, back up what I say, or, or if you have a different opinion, you throw it out. Um, okay. So, so it looks like a, a either, it looks like rose gold to me, but it could be another, uh, what is that? The yellow gold. I'm pretty sure it's rose gold. Uh, Jubilee bracelet. It's got the fluted bezel. Now it's interesting because up here it's, uh, it seems like it's domed to me. And I don't know if, if that's on purpose or, you know, I'm just, uh, I don't know, but, uh, that would be weird if they came out with like a, you know, a domed crystal day date. Huh? All right. Now we get to the tagline when the iconic meets the unexpected. All right. So an icon, something is going to be happening to the icon. Now, when I was talking with Danny, he seemed to equate that term icon with the GMT. All right. Although they've got so many iconic watches, like the sub is an icon for sure. Is the date just? Danny didn't seem to think so. All right. I would say it, it's in icon territory, uh, but it, but Danny tended to say it was uh, it was more of a staple, and and I agree. I, I think when I think when I think icon, I think of the GMT, the Sub, mm, the Daytona. It's becoming an icon, but it, you know it really wasn't popular back in the day. So uh, all right, but anyway. Okay, so there we go. So, what do you guys think about that? Okay. We'll go slow. I'm the only one on here. I will drop the link again just to see if anyone wants to jump on, although God knows who I'm going to get. All right. So short life hacks is Daytona's crap. I'm not a fan of the Daytona. Uh, I tend to, to like the Speedmaster more. But uh, hey, I mean, you know, the Daytona is a pretty cool watch. It's a beautiful watch. Uh, it's what I like about the Daytona is of course, um, you know, it's a Rolex, but also it's not a two tiered movement in that watch. It's, it's not, it's, it's a column wheel, right? Unlike the Speedmaster where you can get a column wheel, but the standard version is cam and, uh, yeah, cams are great and all that, but, but not as good as column wheels and not, not, not what I think, a yeah, a, a chronograph should be. So anyway, um, that that is the good thing about D the Daytona. It's it's got a great movement and yeah yeah. Um, date just sub are the okay. Date just sub. Those would be both icons. I think the sub for sure. Date just is it the is it an icon? I don't know. It's kind of standard, you know. I mean, it's kind of standard, right? Maybe yeah. I would say the GMT. Oh yeah, totally. I think the GMT is an icon territory as well. All right, Jay Sykes, good to see you. Date just fluted bezel is iconic. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't disagree, but it ain't like this. It's not iconic like the sub or the GMT. It's just a little vanilla, all right? Date just was precious metal in the 70s. Yeah, yeah, they did make some precious metal date just for sure. I don't think they're going to go back to that. Uh Speedmaster, amen. That's right. Yeah, Speedmasters are beautiful. I kind of want one, but uh, what I really would love is to stretch and, and get the the Ed White. But oh, that is so expensive here. That's it doesn't mean anything, you guys. I know, but it's like two million three hundred thousand Japanese yen. To me, that feels like twenty three thousand dollars. All right, crazy. I mean, for a steel watch. Um, so yeah. You're indestructible always believe in because you are gold. You're in this. Okay. Don't understand it, but thank you, Chili Badger. All right. Iconic e e e is the day date equals day date, the unexpected puzzle dial. Ooh, you're you're right about that. Okay. But I think I think he hit the nail on the head as, as far as you know, it's gonna be an icon with something extra, something crazy. All right. Um could be a really it could be a return to full PM date just. Date just is most common Rolex globally. I don't think they would do that. I, I just, I think that's a convention. 
I don't think they want to water down the day date. And it's just such a, a convention. But, you know, they surprised me in the past. So it could happen. All right. That Rose Gold Jubilee solid has to be a date just. I'm looking at my SS Steel date just 36 right now. That Rose Gold Jubilee. Okay. Possibly, but mm. they can be had. Don't worry. It's not unobtainium. Oh, MD Chaz. Thank you. Much of much, much obliged. All right. When most people, not us, think Rolex, they think two-tone date just, I reckon, and then the sub. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you're absolutely right, but they're not real watch people. And so would, would Rolex be speaking to them or us? I hope us, but maybe them. I don't know. Looks like the day date with President Bracelet. My mullet, it was iconic. I get so close to a mullet and then I go and I ruin it. Um, if it's a Coke, the internet will melt down. Absolutely. And I think it's going to be a Coke. You know, I thought because that that patent was relatively recent, I thought they wouldn't be able to do it this year. But I think maybe they will be able to do it. And it will be really popular. Although watch the next video that I release probably tonight because there's something else mind blowing that patent and I don't want to spoil it here. It makes the Coke seem like nothing. All right. It looks like a day date with a baguette diamond dial. Well, you can't even see the dial. Maybe that's why it's dome fluted. Okay. Maybe let's see these, uh, these comments are coming fast. Um, let me take a break and let's just, let's just move on a bit. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so right here, uh, I think that's the same watch that we just saw before. And you can see the the coronet here, all right, which is standard. I mean, the uh, 12 indices is a coronet. I'm pretty sure on a date just, and, uh, definitely on a date just, and, and, I, and I think on a, on a day date as well. Hmm. I just feel like this is a day day just because it's gold. It it will be kind of, I don't, I just wouldn't personally like it if they started making the date just in gold because it's like the whole point of of the the day date is it's like it's you know, it's better. It's it well, when I say better, it's got, you know, that extra complication of the day. And um and it's just on a it's just a distinctly on a tier above the day date. And so yeah, it would be like if they started putting, I don't know, days on on the on the steel day justs or something. It just would, it wouldn't keep those two lines distinct. I mean, they're very similar looking watches, and so I think they really need to keep them distinct um, and and not conflate the two. That would really bother me. All right, here we go. Okay. Now <laughs> this 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 could be mind blowing. Um all right, so word is that they're going to get rid of the palm motif dial and the jubilee dial or I, I think it's actually called the fluted dial on the date justs. And so I thought is this the new pattern? Is this the new pattern? But I'm sure everyone has seen that Numeral, whoops, here. Th that looks to be a three, okay? And so let's see, all right. Yeah, I, I think it was, who was it? The the drum guy, right? Um, I think he wrote in the in the chat that he thinks this is like a, another 1908. And, and I think he might be right. So by the way, it's so great not to have to call those Cellinis anymore. I love that it's 1908. I hated that word Cellini. Uh, so 1908s, yeah. And you know, there are gonna be more of them. And so I guess this could be one. And let's see, it could be Gillishe. I don't know. I, I, I always kind of thought that the 1908, well, the one that we have, it's it looks sort of old school. And I guess 
to me, looking at this, it looks a little bit modern, although we're seeing it in extreme close up, I think. So if you kind of were to come out, I think it it could just be some nice guillache. And and by the way, this would make a lot of sense because I think Rolex wants to compete with Aut Horology. And so there's probably going to be a display case back here and um, and some beautiful guillache, beautiful movement. And, uh, and, and I, I can't wait to see more additions to the 1908, right? The one they have in there now is kind of nice. In fact, the one they have in there now, and uh, I think I can do, do this. I can show you what I'm talking about. I'm sure you've seen it. It's the only one. But it has the 369 as well. I think, yes, where the three, here, yeah, let's see. Well, it's got the three, nine, 12. Okay. And so the next one, right. Hmm. Okay. Any reactions to that? I'm missing, I'm missing chats here. So, uh, and I, and I don't want this to get too tedious for, for future viewers, but yeah. If you want to say something, drop it in right now and I'll read it. Uh, Platinum 1908, somebody said. Okay. Kiwi Mark, Rolex learning from Nike Jordan. There's no point making anything new when people drool over the slightest change to the same design. You know, I've always thought the same thing. And, and I think that's why I don't think we're ever going to get anything really that mind blowing. I mean, just put away any hopes for like a white dialed sub that's never going to happen because it doesn't have to happen they can sell the black dialed sub all day long i mean you can't even find them here in japan so why would they why would they do that Th those are ammunition ammunition in their back pocket for the future all right jean claude beaver is here let me add him page hey man hey hey man how are you i was just having a glass of wine and in the chat anyway so i thought i'd just jump on and join you hey excellent Appreciate it. Yeah, so no, no problem. So good to, um, good to see you too. Good to good to meet you. I've never been on on my show, so I've seen yeah. you in the in the comment sections and in in the watch community. So good to, yeah. good to see you there. Yeah, cool. I'm having Thanks, some man. I'm having some tea, some uh, peppermint tea. If it was the ro most Rolex tea that I could could think of. <laughs> Green tea. Yeah, no. Nice. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is an interesting one. The um, the numeral there in the hands is sort of looking like a 1908 right yeah yeah i, I think, think so uh, what we got there yeah all right so moving on here you go can you hear the music by the way uh i can't hear it at the moment no oh uh, all right sorry oh. guys anyway okay here we are here we are we this go. is the this is the showstopper right here this is yeah, yeah there you go bad. okay <laughs> On a Jubilee bracelet, is that a BLNR? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, BLNR. B -L -N -R. That's, that's my favorite one right there on on the Jubilee bracelet. Great configuration there. Yeah, I think that they've hidden the bezel, obviously, because uh, but they yeah they can't they can't uh, release what it is. Yeah, but um yeah I don't know I mean Coke yeah I get what you're saying with the with the with the patent right so the patent was mm -hmm. published February uh, this year filed sometime maybe two years ago, I think it was. Um, so there's obviously a time from filing until publication. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, so that was February. So yeah, we could, I, I think that, you know, obviously the jury's out, it's going to be most people leaning to Coke, but um, I sort of feel like for them, it's an easy win. If they just throw that Guinness bezel on to a steel watch, um, they could, you know, it's sort of, they've already got it in production. Maybe they'll hit hit that one first and then do the Coke maybe next year. Discontinue maybe the Pepsi and switch over to the Coke or something. No. If it was any other company besides Rolex, I would say that's that's entirely possible. The thing about Rolex is they're so they're so slow. They're such a slow moving company. Mm. And um and and they're really they're really um they're not like Omega in the sense they don't come out with like all these different types of speed masters. I mean, they, they're really, um, 
they're really hesitant, I think, to, to fill things with, you know, too many colors. And so mm -hmm. if, yeah, and this is just, I mean, I think you, you could be right, but if they do come out with a, with, with a, a, a Coke, then what they could do is they come up with, could come out with a Coke that Guinness, like you're saying, and by the way, like, is that just like an idea that you have, or is, is this come from like uh, any sort of rumor that you've heard? No, no, I haven't. I haven't heard any rumors, but um, I was watching. Uh, it was some channel a little, a little while ago. Um, I, I can't remember who it was, so I won't give credit to somebody that I, I can't remember. It was it was one one of the channels, one of those like it could have been Bark and Jack, I think, from memory, mm -hmm. where he he actually um, said, "Ah, oh, the, the Guinness on steel," and I thought actually that's that's a really good idea. That's prop. That's that's a quite a a realistic thing. And I was thinking, oh, I agree with that, and I, I bought into that thinking because you know the guinness has been out for maybe a cup maybe a couple of years now maybe I, i'm gonna say it's been two years i think the guinness has been out in the uh in the two times that come out last year and, and the fuga yeah may, maybe it was last year maybe it was last year maybe you're right yeah, yeah. so I think that was last year so, so i guess they've got the they've got the bezel they've got the bezel there to, to to just put onto a steel watch and it sort of made sense that they would they would do it so that's sort of why I'm thinking that. Um, I feel like a Coke might be too much when you've got Pepsi and well, well, BLNR as well. Uh, speaking of those. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Sorry, go on. Uh, no, no, finish your thought. Yeah, so, uh, well, I was just sort of, so then, so you'll have, think about it. If they release the Coke, then you'd have Pepsi, Coke, Batman and Guinness. So you'd have four different types of GMTs. I sort of feel like traditionally they've always had three, if, if that makes sense. So they've, I, I could yeah, be wrong, yeah. but I feel like three has been the number for them. So if they pulled in a Coke, then they have to get rid of something else. Whereas if you had the Absolutely, steel, yeah. And, and that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you that's kind the, of going to what if, I, if what you I got, said. If you've got the Guinness, then it's just another variation of the Guinness, a steel one. Mm -hmm. so by by the way, I've never heard that. that. Yep. I've never heard that uh, that nickname for it. You call this the Guinness? Yeah, the Guinness. Yeah, that a lot of people call it that. So the, uh, the black like and the gray, the black and gray bezel. Yeah, we're, yeah, that came we're out. We're back uh, to drinks. We're back to drinks. Thank, thank goodness it's not a, a damn superhero. Yeah, that's exactly, what I, that's yeah. all I have to say. So that would look kind of beautiful. Yeah. Although you'd have to, okay. Cause there's, there's gold in there, right? Yeah. The, yeah. You know, so the, you put, yeah. You just change it up to so platinum. Be, so, so you're basically going to have like a very right. similar watch to what the, the, the original black one was, um, mm -hmm. you know, the, the one, one, six, seven, uh, LN. Mm -hmm. But then the question would be, what color GMT hand would they put on it? So the, the, imagine now this is all steel with platinum filled um, numerals on the bezel. Then what color um, GMT hand would they have? Because I believe that one on there at the moment it looks so gold, doesn't it? It's like a it's a gold one. Yes. So that would yeah. that would be the question. What, what, what maybe they go green. Rounds. Maybe they could go green or. Maybe a, something like that. Maybe go yeah. back to green. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Or red. It, it, it could Black, look pretty cool. Black, gray with yeah. red. Oh, that would be cool. By the way, this mm. is, uh, you got another uh, vote for that. GM. I strongly believe the Guinness <laughs> on steel. Coming from it Mr. Says, GMT as well. Uh, he says, a lot of people out there have a shit name, but they still have it. All right. Um, I think it would look beautiful, um, but I don't think they would do it just because it would step on this one's toes. And and I think to your point, I think there's definitely going to be a Coke on the way. And I think, like you said, if they do come out with a Coke, something's going to have to go uh, mm. because, you know, they've got basically aside from the, the Sprite, and I'm not even counting the Sprite because that's just sort of its own thing. 
you know, there's there's yeah. essentially the BLNR and the and the Pepsi now, and and I just don't know if they're going to add another one without taking away one of those. And and people seem to think the Pepsi is going to go, but but if you've seen my mm-hmm. videos, you know, I think the BLNR is going to go for many reasons. It's been a lot around longer and it's not as popular, too. even though I like it more. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. Yeah, yeah I was the same. I like the we will I like see. the BLNR as well. But I've come around to the Pepsi. The more I see the Pepsi, the more I want one. <laughs> Strange. You always want what you yeah. don't have. The, yeah, isn't that the truth? Or just the fact that having both of those steel stunners would be amazing. That would be cool. Yeah. But I but I love the way that the blue pops. Mm. And yeah. to, to me, the yeah. Pepsi colors they just yeah. If you've seen my videos, mm-hmm. I've said this before. I'm repeating myself, but I just don't feel like they've they've nailed the 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 colors just don't the pop colors. on the Pepsi. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful, yeah. but they just don't pop. Yeah. In my opinion, yeah. I mean, you yeah, know. I don't, I don't, I don't mind the the Mark III bezel, sort of the current colors. I don't, I don't mind them. Yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Hey, Austin, I'm gonna throw a spanner in the works. I'm gonna throw a spanner in the works. Okay. Have a look at this. Okay. Have a look at the have a look at the color on the bracelet at the, in the bottom half of the picture. Now, what 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 does the color of the no no sorry on on the left hand side of the screen? So in the on the Jubilee bracelet, see how it goes into a milky sort of that white goldy sort of color. Do you think there's a possibility that that is that just a light or could we be even looking at a white gold jubilee bracelet, perhaps? Oh. Just, just, just throwing it out there. Just throwing Ooh. it out there. Look at that color, I, that, that color I, variation at the bottom there. Exactly. So it, it, it's kind of a cold color right here, and then it, when you go mm. down, it's it gets kind of warm down here. See, mm. that could be awesome. it. That's I mean, but I don't know. I don't know if Rolex gets that thematic with these. Mm. Um. Mm. It would be interesting if they did. So like, yeah, because they've got the white gold on the um, the blue dialed and the meteorite dial. Yeah, on the, when the oyster, they're oyster variants, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're not. They're not. They're not jubilees. So they don't make a white gold jubilee mm. in anything um, like this. You get like a, a white gold president. You get white gold. Uh, what else? I think that's about it really like in, in terms of like you get white gold oyster obviously on the gmts mm-hmm. you get white gold president bracelet on the date just uh, on the day date sorry uh white gold rolex daytona that's the blue dial one mm-hmm. there's no jubilee white gold so that's sort of i'm leaning towards probably not white gold for this one seems like this probably some sort of steel variant um, I just thought I'd throw that spanner in the works because as I was yeah. looking at the picture, the color, it looks, it's got that white gold sort of tone to it at the bottom there. No, I see. I see what you're talking about. And that's, that's clever mm. because I would have missed that. I, I just thought it was like the light and them, I don't mm. know, uh, cool, doing cool. something. But mm. Mr. GMT says the Pepsi ain't going anywhere, boys. Going mm. and, uh, and he says the Pepsi is not going anywhere. So he's, uh. He's not having what I'm saying. So, Mr. GMT, do you think that they take the BLNR out? No, I, I agree. I agree that the Pepsi's not going anywhere. Yeah, because it's, I mean, it's yeah, just I, too I popular. Agree. It's like, it would be ridiculous yeah. for them to to discontinue that and keep around the the BLNR. I mean, why would they keep the less the less popular one around? And and we saw what happened with GMTs with the all black. I mean, that got to be... I would I would never call it a lemon, but it was it was kind of unloved, and it was it was it was selling for like eight grand, you know, back before you know the Rolex craziness, and look what happened to that—they killed it. So I think I think they killed their weakest link, and and again, yeah. I like the BLNR more, but I think if the public is anything uh, to to measure by, I think uh, you know mm. shows that uh, the BLNR yeah. is the weaker weaker link of the two. Yeah, I think the all, the all black was just too close to a Submariner. You know, the cool thing about GMTs is the, is the bezel, right? It's having two-tone bezel. When you've mm-hmm. got an all black bezel, that's just not going to work. Everyone's just going to be like, well, I'll just get the, the cheaper sub and I'll, and I'll be done, you know, 
well, am I going to spend the extra on a GMT with a black bezel? That's probably why it wasn't as popular. I think that's it's my got theory. Four, it's got four hands. I, I don't know. I mean, does anybody think that? I I don't know. I, uh, I you you know, I'm a huge GMT fan. I just don't, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't know why people go for subs when, when they could have a GMT. If you have to choose one, I mean, you can have both and it's great to have both in a collection. And I, and I love the depth yeah. rating on the sub and it's iconic and all that. But uh, yeah, that fourth hand is just so damn useful and so damn cool. And uh, yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I like the black one, but I just, just sort of got a gut feeling that when most people are going to spend that money on a GMT, they want people to know that it's a GMT and you can spot, you can spot a GMT from across the room because it's got that bicolor mm -hmm. bezel. Absolutely. Yeah. Nicholas, Nicholas, this, this could be brilliant. Iconic meets unexpected a sub on Jubilee. Would they do that? I mean, it would Ooh. be, it would be really would, popular. People would love it, yeah. but there would definitely be some backlash. Do you think? I yeah, don't know. You uh, know they look, used to come out with the. They used to have the the jubilee on mm. on the sub. I mean, it it came um, as as mm. uh, you could as have the option, right? You could you could you could option it back in the sixties or whatever it was. You can you could get it on jubilee as well. I think. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to. All right, let's move on. Let's see. Okay, so okay, this is obviously a uh, Oyster Flex bracelet, and and I feel like okay, it's pointing towards the sky. Am I reading too much into into that? I'm not seeing any water. Uh, it's kind of pointing towards the sky. I see a cloud. Mm, what, do you clouds. think? Do you think they would mm. put the put the uh, GMT on this? That would be weird, but you yeah, know, I, not, I don't, I don't think so. I don't they think put it, so. they put it on the sky. It, it, does it come on a sky dweller? It does. Yeah. Yeah. So That's it's probably, to me. it's been on a sky dweller for a long time at the Oyster mm -hmm. Flex. Yeah. It's been on there for a long time. So here, I think that them showing us an Oyster Flex, it's probably something that we're least in, expecting, uh, something that we're not expecting. I, I mm -hmm. think it is, is, is my feelings, my gut feeling here. Um, I, I've got a feeling it, it, it could possibly be, and let's have a look at that, that what material is that, that class, but it feels like steel to me. It doesn't feel like titanium. I was having a think that maybe it could be like a yacht master on titanium, like the, you know, the titanium yacht, yacht master, maybe yeah. they might be putting that on oyster flex, but this, this, uh, this class, uh, looks to be steel so it looks like a steel and oyster flex so what that's interesting that they, they you said it was steel because when i was looking at it i i remember thinking it it feels like it, uh white gold to me but yeah you know, it could it, be it, it could it, it could well be white gold as well yeah for so, sure and actually there, there's it makes no more, to tell really it makes more sense though for it to be white gold because all of the oyster flex are precious metal uh they turn out and um the uh the sky dweller they are they they will they will got a precious metal clasp so it, it very well could be um like that the logical the logical conclusion is actually that it is white gold and uh they're just gonna chuck something on let's see what's jmt saying he says i don't believe anything will go i think they will just add i would not be surprised also if they do a submariner on a jubilee it will be a great idea personally yeah i think it would yeah. it would be polarizing and i think people would would complain and bitch about it but everybody would want one um i if i were working at rolex and they and they ran that by me i would say let's not do it because i feel like that's the territory of the gmt um i wouldn't want to step on the gmt's toes and i just think if you're going to mess with the bracelet of the Submariner, you ought to put it on this, what we're looking at right here, a, uh, yeah. a rubber yeah, bracelet. Place. In fact, in yeah. fact, I don't, I don't think the, I don't think the Daytona on rubber or the sky dweller on rubber makes any sense. And so, because that doesn't make sense, I wouldn't put it past Rolex to put a GMT on, on this, mm. but I think that would mm. be a mistake. Mm. All right. Yeah. Okay, so what is today? Oh, no date on my uh, on my... <laughs> the fifth, the fifth, okay, so four days. Fifth. Okay, what are you wearing? Is that a you got your no date sub on? 
No, no, this uh, it's embarrassing. It's it's a huh. it's a plastic. Uh, what do you call this thing? Uh, moon moon swatch. Moon swatch. Moon swatch. Moon swatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I've got a and, moon swatch. That's cool. Yeah, it's, like it. it's not bad. It's this is the first yeah. time I've worn it <clears throat> in months, and the reason is because I have a Rolex watch that I'm wearing right now, and and I've been wearing it since the summer, yeah, right. and it's dead on right, but. Yeah, yeah just recently it's it's lost a little time i haven't hacked it once and it's been kind of hovering around plus minus zero but just recently it's it's uh it's minus five and i don't want to hack it i want to try to get one year and see how dead on i can i can make it and so i have it laid down and it's been <laughs> taken away for the last i guess 40 hours and what i'm hoping is that as the amplitude dies down yeah. it will it will start doing less and that will speed it up so that's okay. why I'm wearing this thing. Doing okay. a little experimenting. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so it looks like we have here All right. okay. a. Okay. Oyster bracelet. Now, mm -hmm. this wouldn't be a a um, sky dweller. It wouldn't be a sky dweller, and. Uh, it could be a, a GMT because GMTs, look at your GMT. It's got mm -hmm. uh, the flip lock. It's got the corn out, right? Yeah, sure does. Yep. Well, thank you. I was, was actually uh, looking. Oh, uh, yeah, no. And, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it could be that. So, or, uh, I'm trying to think. Let's see. Let's let's look at a sub. Daytona has a flip lock too, I think. I want to see the clasp. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, look. So this mm -hmm. this flip lock, you can see it's got, you know, the corn out on the flip lock. I'm not mm -hmm. sure about the Daytona. Although the Daytona, would that be a Daytona? Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, um, I, I, I think they do. I think a Daytona has a, has a flip this looks, class. This we'll... looks thick. This looks thick. So I'm, I'm thinking, um, because of that thickness there, I'm thinking sub. Look what at the case though? though. If you like go look at the, um, look at the case Austin in the background and look at that lug. Mm-hmm. That doesn't look like the thickness of a of a submariner lug to me. It looks like a bit more svelte, like it's coming in a little bit. Uh, and now it's a bit out of focus I, and I whatever. See that. But you see what uh, I'm saying? I'm gonna feel it yeah, seems like it's more. I'm leaning more. Uh, by the by the so, way, no. and, 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 and and there's no crowns. Yeah, so Daytona is out. Yeah, Daytona yeah. is out. Yeah. yeah. Um, no pushes. No pushes. Uh, could we be looking, um, possibly, okay. Not going to be a date just, yeah, could be, uh, could be sub. Yeah. Yeah. Cause if you look at it right here, there is, there is some meatiness to the, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Look at that. Yeah. It's not that. That's what I'm saying. But do you so, think they just sort of botched, botched the rendering because this is all sort of computer animated, right? Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah, possibly. And it would be interesting possibly. if, yeah, if they just didn't quite get the proportion right there. Mm, mm. What else could it be, though? Huh. Or it could be a, a GMT. Would it be a GMT? I guess it could be. Hmm. All right. Mm. What yeah, is, could be GMT, anybody yeah. say anything? In, yeah. Okay. If you have anything in the chat, drop mm -hmm. it in the chat. What do you guys think this says? Real quick, I'll, I'll read them off. Gold OP, OP. probably not. All gold no. Milgauss. Hey, I think the Milgauss is going to make a Ooh. return. Solid gold, gold explorer. explorer. Ooh, I hope not. I hope mm, not. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Solid, Slow. Gold. Solid, solid gold green sub. That would be sick, man. That would be yeah, so good. That would, that, be. that would break the internet. That would break the internet. Sea dweller. sea dweller. Well, I'm not. I'm not seeing. Isn't isn't there writing on the case back of a sea dweller? 
Uh, I know, I know there is the oh. 40 millimeter version, but uh, it's good way to find out real quick. I don't know if we're going to get, yeah, yeah, it's got that writing here. Is that on the, is that, yeah, oh, that's the two right. tone. So that, yeah, that, that's the, that's the 43, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So there's no, uh, mm -hmm. there's nothing on that. Yeah. There's nothing on the back. Hmm. I'm sort of leaning okay, towards. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's see. So. It's got to be a sub or a GMT okay, then. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah. I think it is. Sub or a GMT. Maybe it's a, um, what could it be? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm. I, I, I think I'm with Mr. GMT on this one. I reckon we could be looking at a, a yellow gold. Sub. Uh, with a green with a green dial that would break. Since you're, yeah, that would, that would since so you're good. wearing one, your mm -hmm. your class on your GMT is it is it yeah. kind of, th uh, thick like this way. Yeah, it is thick. Yeah, it is. Okay. All yeah. right. So it could be that. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite thick. Okay. Yeah. It's a, it's about that. You can see that. All right. Moving on. Actually, I just wanted to see a little bit more of that. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So. What do we think this is? It's uh, a twin lock. Isn't that what it's called? Not trip lock, but twin lock. Yeah, yeah, twin lock crown. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's, now, the Sky Dweller. Does the Sky Dweller have a twin lock? Uh, I think it does. Let's have a look. Kind yep, of, it does. Okay. So in fact, mm. it looks. Hmm. Okay. So this looks thick. Okay. So, so look where it's got this shadow here, which is a bit deceptive. Yeah. But it looks yeah. like there's yeah, some the space there, is a... a little bit more space. That, that's what I, that's what I was thinking when I was, do you think this one Well, and with the case back as well, with the case back, like a date, like a, a day date, no, uh, a day date case back does stick out a little bit as well. Yeah. See that, th see that this case to back me looks thin, like it's a bit thinner. Yeah. Yeah. But I think this one's sticking out more and I think it's a thicker case. So. Mm. I have a feeling this would be a, a day date. It wouldn't be a, a day just. I mean, I, in, unless of course they're going to come out with a, a solid gold version, which I don't think they will. Oh. So I I don't know. I felt like just I'm speaking in general about the the teaser. I mean, I just felt like there was a lot of day date vibes going on. Yeah, me too. In general, yeah, that's what I thought. Know? Yeah, yeah. Well. Well, I picked up that it starts and finishes with a day date. Yeah, and they might they might you be throwing right. yeah they might be throwing one in the middle here as well. Uh, who who knows? This this could well be a day date. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that is a huge. I mean, thick crystal. Yeah. That's yeah. odd. I don't know what's going on there. Um, yeah. That's Whatever right. it is, it's not my kind of watch. I know that. Well, a full diamond bezel like that. Um, I think this think is a ladies' watch, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say, is this a ladies' watch of some sort? Yeah. But do they have? My do guess they have is thick bez that bezel is out of control. What the hell is it, happening there? It is. But I think because you know when you get these like little small twenty six or twenty eight millimeter ladies, uh, either I guess it would be a ladies. Uh, 
It could be a date gesture. It could be a, a day date. Maybe you have uh, maybe you have that kind of thickness in the crystal. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, okay. Look at that. That's pretty thick, actually. Yeah. Yep. 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 I can't really yep. get any closer than that, but there's kind of a thickness yeah. there. And yeah, I think definitely. it's pronounced yeah, because yeah. it's such a, a small, small watch. So small yeah, watch. yeah, my guess is this is a lady's watch. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see the crown, the, um, the, uh, the Cyclops is quite sort of close in. So it's, it's it seems like a smaller diameter watch. We're probably looking at a, you know what I mean? Like you can see, you can you, the, the, look how close the Cyclops is to, to everything in proportion to the, to the glass. So we're probably looking at like a 31 millimeter yeah. watch. I would, I would have guessed. Yeah. I think you're right. Baguettes. Okay. And interesting. What do you think baguette? Like baguette diamonds? Are you talking about the oh, one? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, yeah, just the one before that. Yeah. What do we got here? This looks like a date just, I reckon. Rose gold. Yeah, right, they've gone rose. yeah, rose gold. So day date. Yeah. And you can see these little marks here. So that would be the, these are like these uh, okay. gold uh, stamps or something. Okay. You think that's a day date, not a date just? Yeah. I mean, in, unless they're going to start making date justs in gold, I just don't think they'll do that. I, I really, mm -hmm. <laughs> again, I hope they won't because it just, those two are so close. The, those two lines. I just, I don't want them to conflate yeah. them anymore. It just, it just, mm -hmm. it, it's, the differentiation now is perfect. Uh, the day date being in precious metal, the date just being in steel, maybe two tone, and then so, yeah, and then that complication. Yeah. So I, I really don't want them to to yeah, mix it up. Right. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. That makes sense. But it, but but it's on a jubilee though. Do you get day dates on a jubilee? They Pretty come sure, on yeah. Mm, I'm not sure, man. Let me just make sure. Don't know. I think they they always come on a president bracelet. Let's see. El presidente. Um, I, I know the uh, the platinum one. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the platinum. Let's see where it is. Day date. Presidente. So go to the config. And uh, looks possible they bring one out on. Here you go. On a jubilee, but. But what makes what makes it is the president bracelet. Right. Oh, oh, hold on. I think, yeah. See what I'm saying? Oh, you're See, right. That's a jubilee. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you're talking about the clasp. Yeah. No, 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 no. The the bracelet itself. The bracelet itself is a jubilee bracelet. Whereas day dates, they only come with a president bracelet. They don't come with jubilee bracelets. See, that's a president okay. bracelet. And, and yeah and the so difference the being the difference being the clasp is that the only difference and and and, and yeah and the clasp I, I thought uh yeah so you've got a you got a, the clasp as well that's the hidden clasp yeah yes yeah. okay Thank so you. the president has the hidden clasp and and the jubilee has this kind of clasp. interesting okay that changes things yeah. okay in that case yeah. this probably would be a sky dweller, right? Uh, let's think. Let's think this through. Let's think this through. Because uh, I think you're absolutely right. I don't. I don't. Yeah, it's gonna. It could be a sky dweller right because. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get a president. Okay, now this on one a, right on here a, on a jubilee. That's a yeah. By the way, this right? is this is a different watch. Yeah, absolutely. It's a president, so that's probably uh, a day date of some. It's a day uh, date. Yeah, that's a day date. Some sort. But this, okay. So I think this. I'm, I'm getting the. Uh, I'm getting 36 millimeter vibes from that watch. I don't know why. I'm sort of getting 36 really? millimeter. All right, here, let me yeah, go. I don't know what. That's just the case. Sort of looks a bit small. Com you know, like compared to what a 42. Uh, or whatever, whatever that sky dweller is. I think it's 43 even. 
Mm -hmm. Let me look. Wow. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if they, if they reined in the size of the sky dweller? I would love that. Can't see. Yeah. It, yeah. But... No. Look, I tried on a, on a, a sky dweller on oyster flex and it actually was, it wore okay. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's big, but it's not too big. I don't think it's too big. It's, it's just a, it's a larger watch. Okay. If you got used to it, that would be cool. So there we go. Yeah. I, I think I think this is what this is because look it's got um, this is rose gold, and your options for rose gold are either oyster flex or oyster, right? Oyster. And yeah. this yeah. would this would be the the jubilee for the sky dweller, and mm. you can see it's got. Yeah, let's see. Right here. It's exactly the same. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Sky Dweller. Yeah. 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 Did we solve this one? People in the chat, did we solve? I think we've solved at least <laughs> one. Actually, the 1908, yeah, no, I think we got that one as well. 1908. Yeah. 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 yeah and I, yeah, you've convinced me. You've convinced me. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Okay. That's so. It. Look at, yeah, that's it. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to go through one time and and, and I'm going to tell the audience what I think it is and you say what you think it is and we'll just kind of, we'll kind of be, cool. do do it really quickly, okay? No so worries. this one right here, I think, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the Everose Gold Sky Dweller. I've changed my mind. I thought it was a uh, day date at first. What do you Ooh. think? Okay, no, I think this is a, so we're seeing this clearly on a president bracelet. So I think we're going a ro this is this looks like a rose gold uh, day, day date. And I'm going to go with a um, some sort of blue dial. So we're going to see rose gold, blue dial, day date. That's my prediction. Wow. Yeah. Okay. If, if we're going to go dial wise too okay I, I would say this is probably a uh day date sorry not day date a uh sky dweller with a chocolate dial and the everose gold uh everose gold uh jubilee and again i think it's a jubilee well um, that's that's it that we're looking at a president bracelet there Austin. How, how do you know though because you can tell well it's a three link that's a three link bracelet that's oh, you're right. Right. Okay. That's a three okay. link. So it's a, so it's a, so, so I don't, I, you know, that the three link president, that's a day date. There's nothing else comes on a three link president. So it's got to uh, be a day date. Yeah. So I, you're I right. Just, you're right. Okay. I yeah, guess. I, okay. I agree with you. I changed, I changed my mind. Okay. So yes, this is a, uh, Everose gold day date, uh, dial color. I have no clue. All right. Yeah. No, you can me there. Okay, this. Mm, okay, all right. oh, stop, stop, stop it. You got to get that one. You got to stop it right when you see. Yeah, the that that that's a, that's a sky dwell of dial, I think. That one. See how it's got the little. There's the the uh, that little dial in the middle there, because you can see a step in the dial. Uh, uh, or am I just, am I, you know what I'm saying? I let's see. Uh, let's have a look. Let me just look at this. Yeah. Um, I, could, I, I could be wrong. Uh, I could be wrong. But let's have a look. Yeah. There's a, this, yeah, there's hmm. a. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you might be right, but uh, I, I know there's the coronet here. That's the only thing I can see. But uh, I'm going to guess that this is, I'm, I'm going with you. I think it's a sky dweller just because I can't see. And, I, and there definitely looks to be something going on on the dial there. Yeah, but, that's the uh, that's the GMT track, uh, I reckon for the, the Sky Dweller, the GMT track. That's that's mm -hmm. it. I think that's what yeah. I'll put my money on. I wonder if somebody's uh, gonna <clears throat> take a screenshot of this and then and then put it in Photoshop and adjust the contrast <laughs> and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. I, by the way, I've tried that before and in past teasers, it <laughs> doesn't quite work. Good good waste of a few hours. Yeah. All right. What do we got next? I think it's that. Uh, all there right, you, go. you first. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, yeah, 1908 
Gillishay in uh, platinum because that's got that ice blue. It's the icy blue color. They usually reserve that for platinum. So I think we're going to see a platinum 1908. Yeah, definitely 1908 Gillishay dial. Um, I guess platinum, yeah. Um, would they would they possibly do it in white gold? Could be, could be a couple variations there, but yeah, 1908 for sure. Yeah. All right. I think Coke. Yeah. I'm gonna go Guinness. Guinness. All right. Guinness. That'll yeah. be crazy. Still, That'll be a really still, cool color scheme. Yeah, still Guinness with uh I'm just trying to think what color GMT hand they would do. So like okay, because you can't do you can't do any sort of gold. I reckon they're gonna maybe a green seems to be green seems to be the obvious color for the black and gray color scheme. Like maybe red would look good, but I think they'll go green. So I'm gonna go Guinness with a green hand. Yeah, if they did if they did go green hand Guinness, that would be a real blast to the the one one six seven one zero LN that the first LN. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon. But yeah, Coke would be, be interesting. Imagine if you got a Coke, then you'll have Coke, Pepsi, be Batman, Batgirl, and the and the Sprite as well. We have all four really colorful sort of pieces. Mm -hmm. That that would that would be pretty cool. All right. Yeah. Um <sighs> Fuck. Oh, I feel idea. like this is either the the sub or the GMT. I feel I feel I'm like gonna... they're 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 well. You got a sky in the background. I don't know if that means anything, but uh, yeah, that okay. We'll see. I have to commit to one. I think. Uh, let's see. I don't know if there's any sort of wetsuit extension there. So I would say GMT. I don't think there's mm. a wetsuit extension mm. thing there. So mm. GMT. Although I I hope they don't do that. I, I don't think that's going to really work on a on oyster flex i'm sure people will love it but uh yeah I, I i love the oyster and i love the jubilee and yeah no no uh use for the the oyster flex but i think that's i think that's my my guess i hope they don't do that maybe it's just a, a yacht master what's what do you think i reckon they're gonna i reckon we're looking at a and i'm just gonna come up with something left field i'm gonna go explorer 2 on voice of flex with a steel clock <laughs> all right that would, be, <laughs> that would be mind blowing and head scratching i hope they do that that would be a cool watch to have on a rubber strap don't you reckon the 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 uh the explorer 2 because it's so rugged it's such a tool watch if there's any watch that should be on rubber it's probably that one yeah, yeah. Think. I mean, it, it it works better than a Daytona and a Yacht mm. Master, in my opinion. Although Yacht Master is not bad, I mean, that's a water going watch. So, I've always yeah. thought it, it they should they should start putting this rubber strap on their dive watches, and I'm surprised they haven't. So maybe this is going to be them doing that. Although, like I said, I don't see I don't see a wetsuit extension, mm. but it could be up in there. I don't know. All right. Okay, I think it's going to be, well, GMT or a sub. My guess would be, gosh, I think maybe a sub just because I think, you know, obviously they're coming out with a, well, not obvious, but I think they're coming out with like a Coke or like you said, maybe the Guinness. And so I think this would give this sub line something different. So my guess is this is a gold sub. Yeah, I'm going to go with gold sub as well. Yep. I like that. I'm loving that idea of a gold sub, yeah, yellow gold sub with a green dial. Man, that would just yeah. people would look, people would lose their fucking minds. If that that's out. exactly that's yeah. that's going to be the real interesting thing to see the dial. They're not showing us the most interesting <laughs> aspect of this, and that's the dial. Yeah, yeah. I think this could be uh, a, a sky dweller or a day date uh which one i i think it's the sky dweller because it just looks thick to me mm. but yeah 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 i'll go I sky dweller but mm -hmm. it's sort of like yeah whatever another sky dweller who cares ladies day date or maybe a pearl master 
something mm, like that. I don't even yeah, know. Some, yeah. Some, something like some, that. Something, something we don't care about, right? Because we're not, <laughs> yeah. not our kind of watch. Some ladies watch, yeah. Moving on. Uh, yes. Okay, after you, uh, what do you think? Uh you know what? I'm 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 liking the um I'm liking the Sky Dweller idea for this one, so I'm, I'm going to go Rose Gold Sky Dweller as well. Yeah, you talked you talk me around to it. Yeah. yeah, I don't see how it could be anything but yeah. that yeah. because of that because of that clasp and yeah. So yeah, Sky Dweller. That's what I think. Yeah. So yeah, I guess the Ever Rose Sky Dweller now will be able to be had on a Jubilee bracelet. Wow. Yay! Can you can you imagine that in the metal and full Ever Rose Sky Dweller? Have you have you have you have you had have you have you handled an Everose Rolex before? Not a full one, even just a two tone one. I would it's say really... I've put my hands on a on a day date before. Yeah, you have a, you have a thing for Everose gold as opposed no, to no no no. A guy in my office, he 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 saw me wearing my BLNR, and he because mm -hmm. I just changed jobs right, and I was wearing my BLNR, and he goes, oh hey, you're into Rolex too? I've got a Rolex. It's a date just. I'll, I'll bring it in one day. And so yesterday he brought it in, and it's a, it's a Wimbledon two tone Wimbledon uh, rose gold version, right? So it's the rose gold and steel, and the rose gold it's really pink, man. It really jumps out like it's very very bright pink. Um, they're really really nice. So I'm just trying to imagine like a full rose gold one would just be like really in your face. It would be really uh, you know really interesting, really interesting piece. Yeah, and hopefully it'll come out with a really interesting dial to go with it, not just yeah, yeah not yeah. just the the bracelet. Yeah. Okay, day date. Yeah, yeah, but there's no, there can't be anything else. The question is, what's the dial going to be? That that's the question. They're going to do yeah. some crazy. That, that that's really the question, and and who the hell knows what they do with dials? I mean, they came out with a puzzle dial last mm -hmm. year you know they come out with bloody palm frond dials yeah. who the hell who the hell knows what's going to be on the dial i don't know i'm going to guess and i don't know well i've uh, always thought I, I i've always know. thought that the the reason they um they got rid quickly uh the the stella dials the stella oyster perpetual dials is because people yeah. liked them so much i my theory was that they thought, well, if they like them so much, let's let's do let's do the Stella dial day, day dates like we we did, and so they kind of yeah. pulled them from the catalog and are waiting for us to kind of forget about them. But I don't think those dial dial colors would work with this metal. I think they would it would be like either <clears throat> platinum or white gold, and that, I don't even know if they'll ever do that. That was just a theory of why they got rid of the Ooh. the oyster perpetual Stella dial so quickly. It's like we loved them so much. They were like. <laughs> they were like, yeah, we'll give them to you later when, you know, that that was just yeah, uh, yeah. We'll uh, we'll we'll drip, we'll drip feed them to you over the next fifty years, like we do with everything else. Yeah, kind of thing. Right. Yeah, but I think that was the, the last um, picture, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, so, it's a Stella dials is an interesting um, topic because I think in the back in the days, you know, the the day dates when they had you know Stella dials, um, they were actually. And most of them seem to be a some sort of material like an onyx or lapis lazuli or a stone. You know what I mean? Like they were actually some sort of material, whereas on the OPs they were actually just you know dials, paint, painted dials or whatever. So I reckon you've, it, it would you've be seen you, you've seen the, the the I, w I wouldn't call the onyx dial the Stella dial. Like you've seen, um, I think it was like the nineteen eighties. They came out with like pink i mean they look just like the uh, yeah. yeah 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 i'm sure that, um, i think there's there's those ones as well but there's also those other ones that were actually mm -hmm. like you know like uh, they were actually made out of material you know like the the that black onyx president that you see with just the mm -hmm. full black there's no there's nothing on it no numerals or something that's such a badass watch man it's so cool i love that watch yeah. you know the one i'm talking about i'll pull i'll pull up the picture all right. Um, what what dial is it again? Remind me of the dial. <clears throat> it's a it's a it's a onyx dial. 
it's it's nothing on it. It's like no meta markers yeah. or anything. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. yeah. yeah that is so. that is really nice. I remember seeing that as a kid and asking my parents, how do you tell the time? <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh all right, man. I think I'm gonna wrap yeah, it up. Cool. But let me ask yeah, you no first. Worries, you're yeah, cool. wearing a BLNR. And mm, mm, mm. is that your favorite Rolex? If you uh, no, choose no, one. It's, no, it's not. It's not. Um, okay. It's probably, it's probably my, my, uh, look, I don't really, wouldn't say it's my second, but um, I've had the, the fortune or probably more misfortune of having um, played around with a few Daytonas. And um, I really, I really like the Daytona mm -hmm. in, in precious metal, particularly there's a white gold one with a blue dial. Uh, yeah, if, man. If I could, if I had, if I had money to blow on a Rolex, it would, it would definitely be a Daytona. And even more so, I really love vintage Daytonas as well. I love the so. 60s, so you're, you're a Daytona man. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm a chronograph guy generally. Well, most of my watches are chronographs, except this one. This is the only one that's not a chronograph. So. I need to get. Uh, I'm not. I'm not need, but I'd. I'd love to add a, a Daytona into the collection at some point. They're just. What's cool about these chronographs is that they wear really thin. Most chronographs are a bit thicker. I mean, look at that. that that's just a, the perfect watch, man. The Le Mans. I love it. Um, it just wears really well. So it's 40 mil. It's slim. You can. You can wear it with anything really. It, it doesn't stick out. It's not a big watch. A lot of chronographs are a lot, you know, they, they tend to be thicker because obviously they're chronographs. They need to have, you know, thicker modules and movements and so on. But the, the, the Daytona, you, they've you made said... it really, really nicely. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's cool. Is, yeah, is I like this one, one too. I mean, the, the, the Daytona that I like. It's not quite cool, is it? Yeah, it's discontinued now, I believe. Mm -hmm. So they've changed. If you if you type in white gold Daytona blue dial, okay. but I would take I, I would take any. Look, I would I haven't tried one of these, but my favorite my favorite my favorite Rolex. I'll put it to you this way: my favorite Rolex of all time, like I think it's the best Rolex, is that is the Le Mans Daytona. I think that's just the mm -hmm. coolest. Piece. Yeah, it's beautiful, and, and not because of the hype or all whatever, right. but if you actually. If you look at it just as a as a, as an object, you know it's white gold. You know the dial is cool, the sub dials are cool. It's just designed really well. It looks great. Uh, you know, just a cool piece. I mean, they're just great. They're fucking great watches, man. They're really cool. Where where is this? Isn't yet. No, is that's not gold, it. Right? Yeah, that's white gold. Yeah, that's white gold. The Lamanas. The Le Mans is, white, is white, gold? white gold, yeah. Yeah, it is white gold, okay, yeah, so definitely. Quite, so I choose yeah, yeah. white gold. Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, there it is. There, there it is. is. That's okay. it. That's it. There it is. Look, look at that, man. Ah, oh, yeah. look at that thing. Jesus Christ. Well, Don't I mean, it, it is It is the Come best on. Daytona, in my opinion. I mean, if, yeah. if it was steel, it would be perfect. But, uh, you know, hey. Yeah, can't have everything. But no, I love the fact that it's got the 24 hour register, of course, the display case back um, the vintage, yeah. the vintage uh, aspect of uh, yeah. uh, these like little yeah, the square port. things on the, yeah, the port. Yeah. yeah. Paul Beautiful. Newman tropical dial. Uh, they got that one from those, uh, those little markers, the square markers. So it's a bit of a mixed match of, uh, to me, it's like they got the best pieces of the Paul Newman and the 6263. And they made a modern version of that. Uh, this is that um, this is that Onyx uh, day date I was talking about because yeah. just because we were talking about stellar, stellar dials for for whatever reason. Um, There's some reason it's coming up if, on my thing. But... It's coming up on. Anyway. It was coming up on. Uh, anyway. Oh really? Okay. Is it on? Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. I can't, but. Okay. Okay. Anyway. All right. But they did no all, worries, there's no. like, a, there's all sorts of different ones. Do you, you have, you've got a BLNR as well, don't you, from, from memory? I do. You, I do. Yeah. 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 Do you wear I haven't much? even like talked about it on the channel, but uh, okay. yeah, that's yeah. the one that uh, I'm experimenting on. That's what I should be wearing right now. But uh, uh, yeah. It's, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, mine's, mine started running a little bit slow um, about six months ago. It's, mm -hmm. an, it's an it's an earlier one. It's from 2019, so it's one of the first with the uh, Jubilee bracelet. 
and uh, I sent it to Rolex and they just regulated it and gave it like a like a, a little bit of a service, like they dropped mm-hmm. some oil and stuff in there apparently. And um, yeah, it's been running fine ever since then. So yeah, it's been good. When it was slow, how how slow? Like how many seconds a day? Uh, probably in the region of about 10 seconds a day. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's way off. Okay. I would definitely, I would definitely take it in for that. So yeah, yeah. yeah, mine, it was incredible. I mean, since the summer about August to, I guess, uh, well this month, how many months is that? Uh, yeah, like over six months, six months, yeah, plus minus zero. Sometimes it would be plus one plus two. Sometimes would, it would, it would fall back to, yeah. Uh, you know, minus one, but, and I didn't do anything. I would just wear it. It would just kind of regulate. It yeah. was so weird. It was almost like there was a quartz brain inside just yeah. fixing it. Um, but then, and I don't know if it has anything to do with the weather, but yeah. So I looked at it the other day and it was, it was minus five and I was like, Oh no, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to make it go a year. And um, <laughs> I think that would be so cool if I could go an entire year and it'd be plus minus zero, but I haven't given up. I'm not hacking it. I'm trying to regulate it by, uh, okay. by just an, letting that's it. That's an interesting yeah. experiment. Yeah. Right. Well, they're, they're amazing machines. Like my one, when I got it, um, yeah, it was basically around the same. Like I don't have a time grapher, but I was just sort of eyeballing it against my, like the atomic clock on my iPhone. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it was basically within about, within about a second a day for like for years. And then it just, it started going slow or like all of a sudden it just went out of whack. Mm, interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. It was sort of just sort of all of a sudden it happened. And um, now what is it doing? Yeah. You know what, to be honest, mate, I haven't checked it. I haven't even checked it. I've just been, just been wearing it and I'm at the point where I just, I don't give a shit. But when I, mm-hmm. yeah, I haven't, I haven't checked it, but, but I feel like it's, you know, it's, it's probably running a tiny bit fast. I think maybe about two seconds, something like that. That's not bad. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I hate slow running watches, but you know, fast watches, I can deal a lot better with those. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Hey cool, man, man, thank you for uh, stopping by. It was great talking to you. Great meeting yeah. you and uh, great to put a face Likewise. to some of the comments in, in my, <laughs> my comment section. Take yeah, man. care, man. Yeah. Same to you, buddy. See Bye. you later. All right, guys. So there we go. We checked out the trailer um, what do you guys think about it? Drop a comment in the comment section. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little bit underwhelmed so far. I think, I think the GMT, whatever that is, is going to be mind blowing. I think that's really going to be the only thing that I personally would be interested in. My guess is it's a Coke. Uh, I hope it's steel. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, Christmas comes once a year from Rolex and, and it's uh, on the ninth this year. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be as mind blowing as, as last year, but uh, still it'll, it'll be worth checking out. All right. Let me, uh, let me see some comments here and then we're going to wrap it up. Um, if you have anything you want to say, drop it in the comment section, drop it in the chat right now. All right. Nicholas, he says, good seeing you, Austin. You're looking ganky. Thank you. I look forward to new videos covering the new watches. Yeah, got a new one on the way. It's probably going to be released either tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to try to do it tonight, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I've already done this, so maybe tomorrow. Tim to Hollander. Good evening, Austin. Hey, Tim. How's it going, man? Life of Rotation says, Tudor Hydra, not a prediction. <laughs> All right. Um, It'll never come back. It's dead. It's done. But they're great value. They're beautiful watches, in my opinion. Hydronaut 2? No, I think they're ugly. Hydronaut 1? I think they're really cool watches. And man, if you come to Japan, wow. I mean, you can get them for, I want to say, probably 250,000 yen, which is, you know, with the exchange rate, it's pennies. It's an impulse buy. Pick up a couple, you know, give them to your kids. Uh, you know, wrap wrap one around your uh, dog's uh, neck as as a collar. I mean, they're just so cheap. You should everybody should have five hydronauts. All right, Chili Badger. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Chili Badger. Thank you for everybody watching. 
Div John says only GMT. The rest is for rich people. Yeah. Well, if you're paying um, gray market prices, that GMT is going to be for rich people too. But I think that's going to be the thing that I'm going to be interested in. All right. And the last one from Check P, full gold C dweller 43 coming. Mark my words. We will do that, Chuck P. Guys, thank you for watching. And, um, you know, uh, maybe I'll see you on a live show soon around release time. And until then, take care and wear your watches in good health and all that good stuff. All right. Take care. See you next time.